take two. <laughs> um, I know I haven't put up a video in a while. I really haven't had much to say. Uh, I've been sorting, trying to sort, a little bit of sorting. Um, a, a few acquisitions, uh, thanks to my friend Jen in Ottawa and whatever. Um, so I was actually looking for something to, to talk about in the video, and I finally came up with something small, so this might be a quick video. Um, this, this is a while back, and it's never really been completed. Yeah, these are standard Blacktron 1 space sets. Um, and that's, uh, of course, Space Police 1. Uh, what bothered me, has always bothered me, after the first generation of classic ships that had a pretty solid demarcation, shall we say, between fully enclosed ships for the cockpit for the pilot was fully enclosed versus open space concept. Um, so this is a open space, obviously, because the guy just sits on top and there's no nothing around him. But then you have, well, my first space at ever, fully enclosed cockpit. So the guy could be inside and quote unquote in the universe could probably take off his helmet and have a drink and a soda or whatever. Um, but after the original classic space sets, and even later in the cla original classic space theme, they started making canopies with holes in the bottom. And I thought, that's odd. <laughs> and maybe somebody should go retrofit some of these things to um, make them fully enclosed for the space guy. <laughs> so he can take off his helmet and like fly around inside a, a, like an air bubble. Um, so this is actually, this was the first one I did. This was the easiest one. Um, and uh, that's basically all I did is I added the uh, four by four inverted slopes um, and the two by four inverted slopes in the bottom. So the inside of the cockpit is fully enclosed. So the space guy can sit in there and take off his helmet and, you know, be there and stuff. So I did that one. And then I did this one. Now, I honestly, before I started this video, I should have looked it up. I can't remember if this one was fully enclosed, but I know that these these uh, inverted uh, slopes did not go smoothly all the way to the back. And I always thought that was very odd. And yeah, it looks like a bumblebee or something like that, but that's their, that's their, uh, for this one, that's what they did. So, um, so that's the uh, thing by itself, the cockpit by itself. And then I decided to carry that smoothly to the back because I always hated that transition between the two it was a gap and stuff. I also changed the where the actual connectors points are on this one. I raised it up one brick, so they're even with all the other ones. See, this is one brick higher, and 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 this one is usually was down here. I said, oh, that's just dumb because when you connect this thing to the other modules, and I'll sh maybe show that later. It was always off, off a brick. There was a big gap, and I thought, all right, let's make the whole thing standard. So that's what I did in this one. So I I um did that one. I did it, this one, but that was pretty easy. And then I did this guy, the bat tracks. And this one, relatively easy, because this whole bottom part was the gap. <laughs> really, it had a connection here and it had a connection out back. And I think it had these one by two inverted right in the middle here somewhere. And I'm going, that's just dumb. <laughs> like, really, you have this whole thing on top that fully encloses it. And then you had this huge gap on the bottom. So, and, and this is a complete waste of space anyway, but um, it looks cool. So I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, he sits back there. That's the wrong. So this is the right one. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> um, geeking out. So I fully enclosed that one. This one over here was the toughest one uh, because I had to keep the, the steering mechanism and, and everything I did was interfering with the steering mechanism. So I had to make a little bit of a, adjustment so i put the four by four inverted uh 45 degree slope piece in the bottom there so the the wheels can clear it and i had to put all the reinforcing on top so um you will see um i don't know if i can show it this this well but this is a lot of uh l uh plates <laughs> and a lot of cross plates to um, I mean, this part, top part is basically the standard the way it was before. Uh, as Chris would say, where's the engine? <laughs> the engine's in here. That, that's it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, so I, in order to reinforce this thing so it doesn't fall off, this was all redone completely. Um, that, and that's just because I had to reinforce it. Um, I did lose out on the front a little bit because it does look a little different now with that thing on there. 
um, and then it's all, but it's fully enclosed now. And I think that actually works now for me. And uh, so um, I did that. And I also, um, I'll just bring these over just because I can. I, I mean, I made these years ago and you, you can see some of my old uh, layout videos on YouTube where uh, this guy was my first one. And this is my second one. I really liked him, you know, doing re, uh, re, uh, I don't know. I, there's a word for it. I can't remember what it is now. Uh, the older you get, the more you forget. Um, but recoloring it to the classic space colors. Um, so this is one of my favorite classic space recolorings uh, because I, uh, we, let's be perfectly honest, the Renegade is one of the best ships that the Lego company, well, mine's some pieces now, but I got a whole bunch up there. Um, it's, it's seriously one of the best ships ever in the entire, any theme period. I mean, it, it's just, it's it's so it looks so freaking cool. Um, there's enough greebling on it to make it look cool. Uh, it's got huge playability. It's, it's huge functionality. And it just looks so awesome. And, and, and I'm not saying because of the symmetrical, the lack of symmetrical between, they didn't put this thing right in the middle. I don't know. This is a coveted set. Well, not this one. This guy here is a coveted set. Um, because it, it's just, the Renegade is just, I, I can't put that back up with one hand. Um it's just so cool to look at the color scheme works. Everything works about the set. I, I, there, I, I was, I had to buy it off the shelf when it was first available because it looked, even the picture in the box was just fantastic. Um, I don't think, I mean, there are a lot of close sets to this that are the, the well factor, like the mega core magnetizer and all this, but just for a mid size set, I, I, it's, it's, arguably, I mean, we can make points about other ones, but this is one of my favorite sets. Anyway, enough gushing about this guy. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, I started uh, classic space coloring uh, of the uh, uh, Blacktron one, and so I did this one first, and that was okay, and then did that one second, and then I started the Batrax, and this is as far as I got. <laughs> so, I, and this has got to be five six seven years old now um i mean no it's gotta be older than that because it's back when we used to do shows <laughs> so, before before brick fat um so this is like last last decade uh the 2000 to 2009 um i also modified this guy severely because i didn't like the way he folded it up before uh and then, anyway i had to get the everything up here um so this guy is modified from the original uh, and again, I don't remember the original instructions because I modified my other bat tracks over there to be the same. Um, but uh, I did that because I wanted this line to be continuous. Um, and it's the same thing. Um, I don't think you have to worry about here because they're all black anyway. Um, but I'll show you what I mean by this guy. So this is this is the guy, and it, the the connection points used to be down here. And, and this one was a male connection, if I remember correctly. It has a male connection here, and the female was on this piece. So you would always be backwards when you were trying to put it with this guy. So this guy would be, you know, the females are here, and then connects to the males there. And then you could put this guy on this side. And I thought that was pretty stupid, really. The, the front, middle, and then another front going the other way. He said, nah, I want all the fronts to have this, the holes in it. I want all the backs to have the pegs on it. And so I, I heavily modified this thing. And I, again, this guy's too. So he's moved up. Um, so you can now mix and match completely. And they're all on the same height. So you got perfect. Like, look at that. That's what I wanted. Now, the lines don't match up. And I'm not going to worry about that too much overall. Um, and you can put this guy in here. If you can, with one hand. And so that's that's, again... Look at that. I mean, I, I wanted I wanted the the consistency of the the slopes overall, whatever pieces you added to it, and even these back pieces, if I remember correctly. Get these off. So you can put well obviously this one goes in here because it came with the same set. Um again the slopes match up. But now I can put this guy over here and this guy. Now I will I will say that this guy is six wide at the top and this is only four wide at the top or two in one but it, it's it, it looks better and and you can do this now because you couldn't do this before because this is this was male here the two pegs sticking out and that you couldn't do it and i'm going ah that bothered me um 
And then you can do this in the bad tracks. So I tried to maintain a better scented consistency across the Blacktron theme. Um, I didn't do it here, unfortunately, because that had the back slope on it, and I wanted to keep that. So um, here on the bat tracks, it does not have the consistency of the inverted slopes going all the way across. And so there's this little gap here that kind of, eh, yeah, you live with it. Now, the, the thing is that I didn't have to. I did think about this long and hard, believe it or not, that when it's in the base anyway, like this, let's see if I can push it in. You don't see it. You don't, you don't see the back, two, two studs back there. So I couldn't, and this always pops off. Um, so I could have just done inverted slopes all the way around and make it nice and smooth when you connect it to the next module. I don't know. I might change it later. Um, so, so for a quick video, uh, yeah, I, I worked some. Uh, I put some time into making the cockpits um, fully enclosed. Uh, I think other people have done it. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, this one's been uh, modified by a bunch of people um, and and tweaked and made better. Um, I love all their builds. I've been watching people on YouTube forever, uh, modifying, uh, slightly and even radically the classic space sets, um, space police one and all of them and adding to that. Um, this is all I've done. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot one of my other favorite recolorings because this was actually talked about on a thread today. Uh, this guy <laughs> now. I do have the original, and I think he's parted out in my collection. Uh, he was together for the longest time. But this this was in the layout uh, for the longest time. Uh, the only deficiency is I didn't find a 4x3 panel. I had to put two 2x3 uh, two panels in here. Um, and I don't have a sticker. But um, And Trangela doesn't have the big, the tall antennas. Um, but other than that, uh, everything's in here, including the little ship and blah, blah, blah. The, the jail cell. It's all, um, I went to, I mean, I could have done all black tires, but I wanted to put the blue on top because again, um, classic space blue was a huge part of that. Um, and then trans yellow, obviously. Um, so he's, he's, he's been together f again for, for well over 10, 15 years. Cause he was in our layouts when we used to do the ad, ad, ad hoc layouts way back in the day. Uh, I like him. He stays together. <laughs> so, um, Robo, uh, I can't remember his Robo Force Spark, but whatever. Um, good theme. Well, Robo Force wasn't, but uh, <laughs> Spirus was. Uh, the, uh, but anyway, I won't go into that right now. We've already been into this for 12 minutes. Um, so there you go. Uh, quick vid, uh, quote unquote quick vid. And um, just what I've done to change up uh, some of the classic space sets. Uh, <laughs> just to enclose the cockpits to make things more consistent in the connection points for Blacktron 1. Um, and uh, and re recoloring. Re, re, I can't, I'll forget. I'll remember the word the second I stop the video. <laughs> anyway, uh, recoloring in the classic space colors. Hope you liked it. I hope everyone's doing safe, uh, doing well, doing uh, being safe, doing well. And I really do miss shows. I really do miss the public. I really do miss uh hanging out with lego friends uh we're doing it virtually a lot more right now uh i'm watching chris's channel every thursday because it's a lot of fun uh i forgot that i'm actually a modified member of rtl i mean rtl <laughs> toro lug and they do this every month um so i might jump jump on their stream uh, their their chat next time um uh, because i do miss talking lego with friends um it's still my favorite hobby <laughs> Obviously, um, I have slowed down on the purchases a lot. Um, I've left Valley Village. I left lots of bags on the rack at Valley Village because uh, it was, quote unquote, mostly friends, which wasn't the issue. But what was the issue was it had a lot of other non-Lego bricks mixed into the bags. And I'm done with sorting. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my complete. This might be another video, but I'll do it really, really quick. Um, right here. So this is my light gray and blay unsorted um and and i just have a whole bunch of other bins like that that i need to sort so um anyway uh wrap this up uh you guys stay safe uh stay healthy and i will talk to you soon